Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following functional equation from the Swedish mathematical competition, final round 1989, problem number 2. We wish to find all continuous functions from, real, from the field of real numbers into itself, such that f of x plus f of x squared equals 0 for all real numbers x. Once again, our function, we are solving it in continuous functions. So my hints for this problem. First of all, consider uh, first f of 0 and f of 1, find these two particular values, then consider f of x where x is positive, and finally consider f of x where x is negative. And also note that continuity of f means that we can take limit inside uh, the function, yes. So limit of f of x of n equals f of the limit as n goes to infinity of x of n. And maybe one more hint, one last hint. Notice also that uh, the nth root of x goes to 1 as n goes to infinity if x is any positive number. This fact may also be helpful. So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so my solution. First of all, let's set some values. Set x equals 0 and then we will set x equals 1. What happens now? Well, if x is 0, we have just 2 times f of 0 equals 0, which of course implies that f of 0 equals 0. And very similar is the case of number 1, 2 times f of 1 equals 0, which means that f of 1 equals 0. Okay. And now, let's take our functional uh, equation. So now let let x be a positive value, and let's see the following. f of x equals minus f of x squared, but again, by the very same functional equation, f of x squared is minus f of, is minus f of x to the fourth power, which is just f of x to the fourth power. Okay. That's something. And now let's do one, one trick, namely change change x to uh, degree to root of degree 4 of x. It can be done because x is positive and this equality holds for every positive x. Okay, so now we have the following. f of x equals f of root of, of degree 4 of x. And that holds for every, for every positive x. And now let's expand this and we will have the following. f of x equals f of this, but again, this is the following. And that is f of degree f of square f of root of degree 4 squared of x in the next step we will have f of root of degree 4 to the third power and so on and so on and so on in fact it's equal to f of root of degree 4 to the power of n of x and that holds Maybe let's write it with quantifiers. For every positive integer n and for every positive number x, f of x equals f of the root of degree 4 to the power of n of x. Very well. And now, since this is true for every positive integer, we can take limit. 
So let's take take limit as n goes to infinity. And what will happen? Well, on the left hand side, on the left hand side, we have just our function. So no need to take any limit. There is no n. And on the right hand side, we'll have the following. Okay, and now by continuity, this is exactly we can take limit inside our function. Because of continuity. This step uses continuity. Okay, and as I suggested, this limit, no matter what the x is, uh, for every positive x, we will just have f of 1. And f of 1 is just 0. Which means that our function is constantly 0 for positive, int for positive real numbers. So let's write it. And also for zero as well, because uh, we started our reasoning with the case of x equals zero and f of zero is also equal to zero. So now we know that for every uh, non-negative x, f of x equals zero. We are halfway there. And what happens for at, at negative zeros, if, at negative x's? So now let x be negative, and let's notice that f of x from our uh, functional equation is minus f of x squared, and x squared is positive. So we know that it is just zero. So our function is constantly zero. So we have only one solution, the only solution, the only solution, f is constantly zero. And I believe that's it. So a very nice problem, uh, somewhat unusual because it, it was re requiring uh, continuity, but not that difficult. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.